So my dear ladies, it is time we come together and make sure we don't let these men play us anymore. We brought them to life through our laps and vaginas. We need to ensure that we don't give them the space to play with our hearts and continue to serve us breakfast anymore. Until next week, same time, my name is Nasi and I'm saying to all the ladies across the world, to all my Nasirians, my Nasi angels, never fall. is here. Right on time. Come in. Hey, stop there. Go into the bedroom, freshen up our journey shortly. Is there a problem? Nothing like I am really tired. You're tired of what? I'm tired of the way you're treating me. I am not your toy. I'm your lover. I Hey, stop it right there. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We had an agreement not to allow this thing between us to get into our heads. You specifically. A thing? This thing? Nancy, you call our affair a thing? Nancy, we've been seen for close to seven months. Hello, I hello, hello. Look, we're not seeing each other. We're just bedmates. I have sex with you when I want. What's going on with you? Nancy, you can't say you don't. Feel the thing for me. Seven months of wasting each other is enough for you to have some emotions invested. I'm sorry, I have no emotions invested. And that's your cue to leave my house. Hey, you, you, leave my house or I'll call the security guards to throw you out. You can't be serious. I'm dead serious. Listen, I told you from the get-go, I have no interest in you for anything other than have sex with you. Just like every other man you're beginning to think with you. Third legs and the balls hanging around it. Get us out of my house. Now, get out. Idiot. Wasted effort. I paid for. I, I, I paid for his cab. Idiot. Wasted my money tonight. Hey, how are you? Thank God I caught you before you left for work. How are you? Nancy, I'm not fine. I'm, I'm not fine at all. <sighs> George? Yes! What did he do this time? Can you imagine he went out last night and I called him when he was on his way back and I asked him to get me Ram Suya. Ram Suya, do you know what he did? Tell me. He got me regular Suya. I'm from one of those dirty, raw side Suya sellers, but I specifically asked him to get me the Ram Suya from a decent Suya sport. Can you imagine? Then what do you think about this latest behavior change from your boyfriend? Apparently he doesn't care about me or my feelings. It's simple and it's crystal clear. This guy doesn't care about you. You know I'm sure about that? No. Because, you know, in simple things, a woman should know if a man truly loves her. If he cared about you, he would have, he would have crossed oceans, seas. Clamped mountains just to get you that type of suya you asked for. He doesn't care about you. 
I couldn't agree more. But what do I do, Nancy? Okay, um, I'm off to the office now. When I return, we can talk more. Okay. Okay? All right. Just relax. <laughs> relax. Thank you, Nancy. You soon. All right, okay? then. Right. Have a pleasant day. Okay, we're going live in one, two, and men are worse than scum. And guys, if I have my way, I would gather all men in the world and incinerate them. I I'm serious. Seriously, because, you know, the saddest part about humanity is that the world is shaped in a way that favors men in everything, in every single thing. They cheat and mess with your heart and they get away with it. Because society makes them feel macho while they cheat. <laughs> you guys, men have cursed, in fact, men have, they, they, they've actually caused baseless wars and created famine. And, and other societal vices, you know, that has put the earth in danger of being uninhabitable by all forms of living things. And I ask myself this question almost every day on this show. I ask you guys this question. Why do you guys fall in love with these creatures? Why do you guys fall in love with men? Look, Sarah is looking at me because she knows I'm speaking facts. Sarah, I'm, I'm, I'm saying the truth. Why do you guys allow them a space in your heart to mess with? Why? Anyway, guys, I'm here. Your love doctor is here to speak with every one of you. You can call this number 081-026-50022 or 01-515-1399. I am here to speak. Okay, we have our first caller for the day. Hello. Good morning. Morning. What's your name and where are you calling from? My name is Adenike, and I am a woman hurt by all the men I've ever given my heart to. Men are truly scum. Adenike, you're going to be okay. You're speaking with the number one heart doctor, and together we are going to help you heal your heart and place it in a position that no man would ever hurt you again. Thank you very much. You're welcome. That's why I'm here. I am already feeling glad I called you today. I am a fan of your show. Thank you. Thank you. So, um, would you mind sharing with the whole world what the idiot you gave to your heart did to you? He slept with my sister. Um,
baby, are you still upset with me? Come on, over the ram suya. Ah, babe, I'm sorry now. I've begged and begged. I begged you yesterday. I told you I was sorry. It was way out of my route now. Babe, why are you making a mountain out of a molehill? Huh? It's just suya now. It is not just suya, George. This is more about you and how you see me and things that concern me. You're raising your voice. Why won't I raise my voice? I am talking about my heart and my feelings. If you truly loved me, George, you would have done anything and everything to get me my rum suya. But I explained to you, I told you, it took me four hours in traffic. But when I got there, they had clothes. Come on, it's not my fault. I tried now. Four hours, you say? I was stuck in traffic, yes. So what, you're telling me you can't spend 10 hours in traffic to get me what I wanted? Is this how you plan on taking care of me when we get married? Come on, don't say that. Babe. Babe. I'm sorry now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I promise you. Next time, I'll do 20 hours. All right? I swear. I'll do, I, I'm sorry, okay? Oh, come on, babe. I'm sorry. Forgive me now. Don't be a fool. Men always play with our gentle and loving nature. You must always be hard with a man to make sure he treats you right. Hey! Leave me be. You do not love me. If you loved me, you would leave this house this very minute and go and get me my rap here. Period! You don't love me. You don't love me. You, you do not love me. Taya. Guy, I don't say. Chelsea go be by soon. Now. See this guy. How? Chelsea for life. See this guy. What's with that one? They, they go buy and buy and times too. Oh, no, what kind of nonsense? Even this small, small rat. Nancy, hey, this office. Really? You all are kidding me. Baby, it's not funny. I'm gonna stop working with you. Oh. If I get blacklisted around here. Well, I noticed that you're scared of being blacklisted because of those, those small. Are you going to deny the fact that every guy here hates you? Totally accepted! I won't deny the fact that I'm not enjoying your hate. So it's fine. Come on. That's not a good thing to say, baby. I'm just being straight. No. Little babe, if I give those guys an opportunity, just a snap of my finger, and they're all over me, sniffing me like a dog. I guess you're right there. Come to think of it, men will always be dogs. So why indulge them and make them feel good? We need them to spice things up here and hey, there. Hey, 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 babes. You don't need men. They need you. You do not need... Come on, stick by me. Let me teach you. You don't need men. Without us, they'll be groping in darkness all their lives. If I didn't know you, I would have been thinking that you're a lesbian. Because I don't know how you would just... Think about all these ideas and they just keep popping up from you. And yet, you still have flings with these people that you claim you hate. Hey, hey babes, mm -mm, I don't do girls. I, God forbid I don't do girls. I love lollipop. Like, I really love lollipops. Oh, I don't hate men. I just know how to handle them the right way. Which is? Do not let them cross into your heart and make you a slave under the umbrella called love. Thank you, motivational speaker. Now my name, stick by me. I've left you. My husband is outside with you. Hey, husband! Oh, well, my baby. Oh, really? You didn't come with your car? Well, he said he was going to take me out. And later tonight, Sarah is in for tender loving care. Uh -huh. See ya! <laughs> Hello, baby. How are you? Who is she? Oh, that's Nancy. But I've told you several to stop having anything to do with her because of her bad influence in this area. 
Babe, no. Nancy is just my colleague. You Your know? colleague? Yes. But let me tell you, he has caused a lot of havoc concerning even relationships in this particular area. And I'm warning you to please take care of her because for, as far as I'm concerned, she's an evil. All right. I promised I will. Well, can we just change the topic? I've had a long day at work, baby. You promised to take me out. Okay. <laughs> Where do you want to go? Well, anywhere soft and chilled. Okay. That'd be my guess. Thank you. <laughs> I traveled three hours to get to your rams here. Mm. I hope you do believe now that I love you. Wow, babe. You actually got it for me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Thank you, thank you so much, babe. Sitting down. Uh, thank, thank you, thank you. you made like that. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, wow, thanks. So, oh, let, me, let me get you water. You can say that again. I am actually the happiest woman in the whole world right now. Tell me about it. You dumped George? <laughs> dumped? Oh no! After last night, I could never dump that man. He's the perfect man in the universe for me. And you are responsible for that. So I am here to say thank you. Oh, welcome. Come tell me all about it. There I was. It. Well, Glad to hear it. <laughs> okay, here goes. I followed your advice to mm -hmm. make things tough mm -hmm. for George, mm -hmm. and I made things so tough for him. Despite his attempts to apologize, I kept making things tough for him the whole of yesterday. Mm -hmm. Now, guess what he did? What? My baby went out in the middle of the night and got me my Ramsuya. Like he literally drove three hours to get me my Ramsuya and he made me so happy. Amazing. So what did you do after he gave you the suya? Hmm. I blew his brains out. I gave him the hottest sex. I mean, I mean, that was my way of saying thank you to him for being such an amazing man and making me so happy. Typical. What's the problem? No problem at all. You care for your cup of coffee? Nancy, stop talking to me like I'm a child. Did I do anything wrong? You've done everything wrong. You have done everything wrong. You don't reward a man with sex for doing his duties by you. How many times will I tell you that you don't have sex with a man for his pleasure, but for your pleasure? What should I have done? You trust me? Sit. Sit. I'll give you a cup of coffee, then we can talk. Right. I just hope it's ready. Yes, 
so hungry. Famished. Oh, that's the thing. Oh, had a long day at work. Long day doing what? Mm. What exactly were you doing? Hi, darling. Already Hi. ordered for something. I ordered for something last. I, I ordered for jollof rice. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Is it's it ready? Snap, yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Go and bring it. Papa's nearly killed me. Will do that? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Sir, look, look, we only just got here. Can you at least allow us to eat something? Please, before you start with your toasting lines. I beg you. No, please, please. Whoa, toasting lines? <laughs> I've never had any lady use such cold words on me before. Bro, please. I came here to eat. Like I'm starving. I'm hungry. Let me eat, please. No. Sir, actually, we came to eat and you know... Wait, excuse me, wait. Hello? Oh, well, I'm going to be that gentleman who's going to pay for whatever you to eat or drink here. Except your friend here is intimidated by my presence. Intimidated? By what? Well, as you can see, I'm handsome, rich, rich enough to afford a decent meal in a fancy restaurant such as this, or even anywhere on planet Earth. I'm sure guys like me intimidate women like you. Oh, women like me. I wish you knew who you're talking to. Well, I'll be more than interested to know more about you. I have no doubt you'll be one special woman. <clears throat> oh! Your food has arrived. Oh. I get to watch two beautiful ladies Thank eat. You. Can you call the manager for me, please? Can you call the manager? No, it's fine. Just leave everything. Leave everything. Call the manager. Can you call? Call the manager for me, please. Can you call the manager for me, please? I must have ticked her off so bad. I shouldn't make you feel better. Nancy is a hard nut to crack, but you just made your job tougher by trying to crack her nut. Nancy? That's her name? Yeah. What makes you feel like I want to crack her nut? So you want to sit here and behave like you don't like my friend? Hmm. Well, to be honest, I like your friend. She has this fiesty character I find attractive in a woman. I see. Fiesty. You like fiesty, huh? Yeah. <laughs> well, Nancy can be as fiesty as ever. Hmm. She didn't leave me with any number or any contact I could reach her on. Well, you can say she left me behind as well. But you know what? Drop me off at work and maybe, just maybe, you can get a chance of getting to know her better. Fair deal. So why don't you eat your food? You haven't even touched it. I lost my appetite, thank you. Oh, come on. Don't worry. Eat something. Uh, they can pack it up. It's all right. You sure? Yeah, sure. Right, let's go. <laughs> Waiter. So, this is where you both work? Yeah, thanks for the ride back. Welcome. I mean, it's nothing. Um, are you going to tell your friend Nancy that I'm here waiting? You know what? Before you decide if you want to pursue Nancy or not, I think just a little advice. Go home and do your research, okay? I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Well, that's clear enough. Well, you know what? Just Google, never fall in love. Well, it's a radio show Nancy produces and presents. But don't forget, mm. never fall in love. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye. Hello, super ladies. Hope you 
y'all are having a swell day and showing the letter and money to your heart with stupid claims of love. <laughs> Welcome to another super duper edition of your number one love show, Never Fall in Love with Nancy. The Beats 99.9 FM. So I'd like to share with you an experience that almost made me puke. And this experience happened just a few minutes ago. So my friend and I went to our favorite restaurant to eat and this, this he goats with the confidence of, of a snake about to swallow a prey that already constricted, walked up to us and was blabbing nonsense. You know, I'm very upset too. I'm really, really angry. Like some of you all out there, you guys still don't know who Nancy is. Like I really have to work harder. I I'm sure he wouldn't try that nonsense if he had known Nancy is not one of those women who fall prey to the men folk. I really, I, I, I hope so. Really, like it's so annoying. This guy walked up to us and was okay. Now, <sighs> Nina, what are you here doing? Don't you have any work to do at the office? So the office needs you. It's not right to abandon work and stay away the way you are doing. I see. I had thought you could handle things in my absence. But you are clearly telling me to suck your fire you. So you know I'm the best manager you can possibly have. But this is certainly beyond catering for your company. I believe I'm entitled to something called leave. Yeah? But it is wrong to close up everything in your life just because of Debbie. She I don't remember asking your opinion for anything that concerns my personal life. Now go back to the office and do the job you paid for. Better still hand in your resignation letter and I will sign it. I've had my heart broken all frozen up like ice I've built a wall deep down inside To hide the pain I feel within But these walls come crashing down Down And I'm afraid I'll lose my mind I need some love Sir, what's the problem? You know, I have to head home to do something, um, do some research for my next show. So, does this research involve lying to your audience during your show? Lying? Sir, what are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Stop playing with me. You know what you told the audience about Dennis was not true. Wait, does this have anything to do with that obnoxious man we saw at the restaurant earlier today? Yes. Oh, really? <laughs> Someone we met some hours ago. You're concerned about him. You're worried about what I said concerning him on my show? Really? Nancy, it is against the ethics of our professions to sell lies to your listeners. I mean, they deserve the truth at all times. And I told them the truth. What are you talking about? Dennis is not an obnoxious man. Matter of fact, he's the gentleman who paid for our meal before you left me there, knowing I don't have any form of transport back to work. And you think I didn't see him drop you off? And how cozy you were in his car? Nancy, I really don't care what you do with your life. What I care about is what you dish out to the audience. You have a teeming number of ladies listening to you for relationship advice. The least you can do is to be truthful to them at all times. Jeez, excuse me. <laughs> This guy only paid for our lunch and made attempts to make me laugh and this one is drooling over him already. Thank God Nancy is no easy meat to fry! Nancy, you are doing well! Hey, babes, how are you? Where are you coming from, George? <laughs> Come on. George, we are engaged to be 
married in case you have conveniently forgotten. To begin with, it is bad enough that you're late. Secondly, you knew full well you were going to be late. Why didn't you deem it fit to call me, to check up on me? Let, let, I, to, I am not finished. The question is just how you're going to behave when we get married. Huh? I am tired. Okay? I just went through three hours in traffic just to get back home. I'm in the mood for trouble tonight. Oh, okay. I am now a quarrelsome dog. What is wrong with you, this woman? What is wrong with you? Why are you bent on making things difficult for me? I just went through traffic to get back home. Don't you understand? Is that so difficult for you to understand? I see. So I cannot speak my mind freely in this house. Fine. No wahala. I am just going to leave your house for you before you cross me black and blue. Hey, Diane. Yeah. No, touch me. You're leaving, babes? You didn't call to say you were leaving. Talk to me, babe. What's going on? What's up? Dennis, this is not working. No, Dennis, I am done. Please, let's just go our separate ways, okay? Please. <laughs> prank, right? You, you, you're trying to prank me right now. Tell, tell me you're joking. Dennis, don't you get it? I am not joking. I'm not. I'm being serious right here. This is not working and I'm tired of everything. Of, of, of everything? Yes. As a matter of fact, what we have is beautiful. I love you. And you know it. No, Dennis. If you actually love me, Dennis, you will show me. You can't be saying you love me and then not actually show me signs of how much you love me and what care about me, Dennis. in the name of everything that is good are you talking about, Debbie? You and I know how much I love you, I care about you. No! Dennis, that's not what Nancy says. And I believe her. I believe her. Nancy? Yes. Who the hell is Nancy? Nancy said that when a man meets a woman, he will marry her within the first six months of meeting and dating her. That's because men actually know who they want to marry after three months of dating her. Uh -huh. How long? How long has this been? Like, how long have we known each other? Four years! Four good years, Dennis! What have you done? Nothing! Absolutely nothing, Dennis! I have not done nothing about it? Yes! I, I, are you listening to yourself? When it was you who told me to, 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 to give you time to finish your education? That is the problem. Nancy said that when a man wants to marry a woman, he will push aside everything she has said just to marry her. But here you are using my schooling as an excuse. Dennis! You don't love me, excuse. You don't love me. You said you didn't want any distraction. Nancy. Tell me something. Come in. Good evening, Nancy. Bola, how many times have I told you that I hate being kept waiting? Look, I'm terribly sorry, okay? I, I needed to finish off with work first before heading out. And it was quite hard getting a bus. A, a, a what? A bus. You took a bus? Down here? Why didn't you take a cab? No, I will take care of the car fare. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I I'm not used to taking cabs yet. Please forgive me. Go freshen up. I'll join you soon. Uh, soon? I've not had anything to eat yet. I'll need to... 
have dinner, you know, before. Bola, go freshen up. There's food in the kitchen. You fix yourself something to eat. Uh, okay, uh, I'll, I'll be with you shortly, okay? When did we start cuddling after sex? How dare you! How dare you! I'm asking you. Well, I can see you say getting ideas into your empty head. Uh, well, Nasty knows how to throw deaths into the gutters. Where, where are you going? Huh? Get out. Get out! Stop, 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 stop. stop. Where do you remain with those? Where? I said you get out, get out, get out, get out! Get out of my house! 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 Get out of my house. Get out. Get out of my house. It's I'm just gonna call me again! It's get out! Me now. How do I get home? I, look, I, I don't care. I don't care. Get out! Get out! Get out! I'm going to call the security guards on you. So I might be coming home late today. We have a major presentation tomorrow. So don't wait up for me. I know you're pretty pissed because I came back home very late last night and I didn't tell you. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Have a great morning. He didn't lay a finger on me, even though I slapped him roundly across the face. And that was the first time anyone was hitting anyone in our relationship. Calm down. No! Diane! No, 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 okay. Nancy! Okay. You don't okay, understand! You Hold don't on. get it! Take your coffee. Hold on to this. Thank you. But I have to tell you this. Okay. I have been with a few men who used to beat me even when I didn't do anything wrong. Men who would have slapped the living daylight out of me for daring to slap them. But George? George is different. I am convinced he's the most unique gentleman for me in the universe. Now get a grip on yourself. What's the matter with you? I'm sorry, but I thought you would be most happy for me. Oh my goodness. Diane, you are one naive woman. Gosh. What? He's playing you into a trap. That's what men do. I... I, I really don't understand what you're saying. I'm not following. Diane, are you blind? Are you blind? <laughs> He's trying to draw you in so you could lay your guards and trust him. That's what men do. When you lay your guards, they unleash your demons on you, and by that time, you're hooked. No, Nancy, I really don't see what you're trying to get me to see here. Could you elaborate, please? Men like George, are dangerous. A regular guy would have beaten you up for slapping him and that would have been normal. But you slapped him and he walked away. Why? He's going to reload and when he returns, oh he will mess you up in all forms of emotional, physical and otherwise and you are doomed for life. So now I'm going to tell you what you do. But first, you take your coffee and we'll talk. 
Take it off it. Wipe the chest, wipe the chest, wipe the chest, wipe the chest, wipe the chest. Yep. Good, good, good. Are you relaxed now? Yes, yes. Good? You good? Yes, I am. Now we can talk. Yeah, you're late for work today. I've been here waiting for you for the past um, 40 minutes. Nobody told me we employed a new security guard. <laughs> well, I'm no security guard. And if there's anyone or anything to secure, it would be you. What's that your name again? Dennis. Dennis Udo. Dennis? I can see you're a pig-headed man. And I know what you're up to. But I'd like you to know that you're backing up the wrong tree. I'm not that woman for you. I know who you are. Nancy Onwoka, popular radio presenter of the number one show, Never Fall in Love. Loved and admired by a lot of women across the world, but hated by men, except me. I think I'm loving the woman I'm staring at. What is this now? Guys always run away from me when they get to know who I am. And this one is here saying rubbish. What do you want? I don't have time for your games. I want you. Excuse you? Yeah, I want you. I want to take you to a proper date. I, I like you. I want to be your friend. And if I don't want to be your friend? Then you leave me with no choice but to best around you. I'll hunt you around town. And I'm sure you wouldn't like that. Because I don't take no for an answer. Ladies, always watch your back. When a man starts playing and acting nice, it is time for you to be on your guard. Stand fast and watch with your hundred eyes because that is when they strike. So don't even allow a, a, a man's niceness get into your heart. Most times when a man is nice, he's only doing so because he wants to get into your pants. And once he does, he will start using it against you. So why allow yourself to be played by men? Why allow yourself to be enslaved by stupid men when we have loads of, of sex toys you can use to make yourself happy? Why? The thunder when go fire this woman. The road come from Ukraine. Come meet him very soon. You watch out. You are very correct, man. This woman just they use that whole I stupid radio out. show. This poor woman. I'm about to tell you. Bear more than live on. Now truth she they talk. Now why the team they paper on for body so? Yeah, yeah, men. Where they always use men play anyhow. Have you seen it so? Now anything when Nancy talk, I they do with my boyfriend. Uh, uh, they follow you. They go. Okay. Yeah. This women there, leave them. Who they go support? At the end they go. Now give us, give us, give us. At the end they go. They do it. They do it. They do it. Now never know. Oh, it goes, it goes pile up in our life. It goes pile up. Hey, how far now? Are we going out to lunch together, as usual? No. I'm going out for lunch with the man you brought to this office to come and annoy me. Thank you very much. Yes, now let me go now before everybody starts saying, Nancy, you're rigid. Nancy, you don't like men. Nancy, you're just, Nancy, feminist. Nancy, feminist. Nancy, this. Nancy, that.
Please, what's funny? Nothing. Do you want me to get up and leave? Why would you want to leave? Because I'm starting to get irritated with the way you've been smiling at me since you picked me up from the office. I spent the whole of last night researching and studying things about you. Every single detail I learned about you makes me want to be with you some more. What did you learn about me? I learned that you are a feminist. A non-nonsense woman who believes women should be intentional and transactional when it comes to matters of the heart and sex. So you learned all these about me and you still want to be with me? And that's because the article got it all wrong. Yeah, the society we live in believes women who are tough, self-confident, comfortable in themselves. They see them as no good and they think they hate men. But I disagree with that article. I don't believe in that. I'll tell you what. I hate men. And if I have my way, I'll put all of them into a bus and drive them over a cliff. That's how much I hate men. Who hurt you? Who caused you pain? That made you close your heart to love? I think I'm done here. So someone broke the almighty Nancy's heart and turned her into a drag killer. No, me. not today. No, not no, today no. again. Please beat me so everything. Diane, I am tired. Room. Please, can you please just get up? I just want to eat, have a bath, and then go to sleep. No, 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 no. Not sleeping for you tonight. If you're a real man, you have to beat me so I know that you've forgiven me. What is now, going me. on? Beat me, oh, beat me, beat Diane, me. I swear you're stressing me out. No, 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 no. On the contrary, you're the one stressing me out. Oh, I see. You want to kill me in my sleep? Or you want to beat me to death in the future because I slapped you? No, what no, are you talking about? Dang, dang, listen, listen. Just get a grip on yourself. What's going on? What's all this about? What is it? But where has it been seen that a woman slapped a man and he doesn't do or say anything about it? Where? It's not normal. That is why listen. I'm asking you to beat me. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. I think you're crazy. Listen. I swear you're crazy. No, 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 you, no, you, no, you no, 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 I can't do you this. You because if you kill me later, I will hunt you. I will hunt you. I will turn into a ghost and hunt you. So you better come and beat me right now. We struck a chord today. A very good one at that. Time 
to move on to the plan B. George does not love me and I have just confirmed it. Do you know this man came back last night and acted like everything was okay even though I had slapped him just the night before? Okay. And I told him to hit me. Hit me, hit me, you know, just hit me, do anything so I would know that he has forgiven me. And guess what he did? Based on what you told me last night, guess what he did? What? This man didn't do anything. Mm. Literally nothing. He just left me standing in the living room and went to the bedroom to sleep till this morning. Diane. I'm afraid that man is planning something evil and you must make sure you protect yourself. I just, I just don't want to be hurt or harmed by a man. That's it. Do you trust me? With my whole life, I do. You sure? Yes. Now you must do exactly what I tell you to do. Just tell me I'm ready to do anything. Leave George. Come in, the door is open. Nina. You asked me to come see you, sir. Please sit. Thank you, sir. Nina, we've known each other for what? Six years now, yeah? Yes, sir. I consider you as a friend and also an employee. And that's because you've been through a lot with this company. Now I will need your help. What do you need me to do for you, sir? I need you to help me search for Debbie. Debbie? Yeah. I know it's been seven months since we caught ties. But to be honest, I still haven't gotten her off my mind. I still care about her. I still love her. I want her back in my life. So are you really sure about this? I mean, we are talking about a girl who treated you shabbily, even after breaking up with you. I love her. And that's all that matters. I love her and I want her back. But why now? After all this time, I thought you already moved on. That's because I'm deleting the reason she left me in the first place. Once it's deleted, my heart will be free and open to love Debbie again. Okay, sir. When do you want me to start looking for her? Right away. Okay. But what about work? When are you planning to resume work? Soon. Very soon. Okay, sir. I'll be on my way. Thank you, sir. I know some of us women have invested so much into that toxic relationship with that no good man. That makes it quite tough or almost impossible for us to let go of such men and that relationship. But you need the boldness to leave. 
yeah you do the bonus take the right step and make the right decision he might give you f breaking orgasms <laughs> or unlimited access to his purse his atm cards but you have to leave he might swallow you silly every day but girl you have to leave for your own good for your own happiness you matter you and you alone my name still remains Nasi, and if you want to speak with me, you know the number to dial 0810265020209 or 0151513099. I'm here to speak with you. I alone matter. If George cannot show me he loves me, then what am I doing with him? Why am I wasting my time with him? I am bold. I am bold. I am bold. Hey. Hey. Look, I I came to apologize for upsetting you the other day. Trust me, it wasn't intentional. Honestly, Sarah, I should be the one apologizing to you for lying to my audience. I mean, we should always tell them the truth. So, friends again? Definitely. Oh, yeah, I missed you. Missed you too. So, girlfriend, you have to gist me. What gist? Oh, is that why you came to apologize to me? With the way you walked into this place yesterday, my dear, tell me everything that has happened. Sorry, it was the worst launch date of my entire life. It's a lie. I kid you not. Wow. Why are you surprised? Well, I, I thought at a point you guys will, you know, kick it off. Kick. Kick what? Like, you've known it for how long? Girlfriend, I've known you since, you know, before Kali slept with... Oh, Kali. <sighs> I'm sorry. You promised never to mention that name before me. Sorry. Okay, I want to be left to me, please. Okay. Sarah, Sarah, stop, 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 stop! Okay, um, I'll come back and check on you. going on for two fucking years I've tried as much as possible to to avoid any mention of that bastard's name two fucking years and in two days I've been dragged back into something I'd buried in the ocean what the fuck is going on From work, why won't you let me be? Hey, no, what are you doing here? Can I please talk to you? Can I come in? You want to come in and talk to me? Kali, do you know I will kill you if you step a foot into my house? I just... Fuck you! Get out of my house and do not ever, ever come close to my house again. Stop. Oh, 
fuck is going on? Is someone trying to set me up? I haven't seen this guy in two years, so why is he here? Diane? 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 Peter, hi. Um, can I see you tonight? You can't. You're in traffic. Can you just come to my house? I'll pay for the cab. I, I, I yeah, I'll, I'll take care of the cab. You can't. Why? All right, that's fine. That's fine. Get off my phone. Get out. Get out. Get out. <sighs> Darlington. What did I start? That Darlington is D. D, right? D for dick. D, D, D. The good dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh... Hello. Hi, Darlington. Um... This is your one and only Dennis. Oh, Dennis, look, it's, it's, it's a wrong number. I. It's a wrong number, wrong number, sorry. No, this is no wrong. Why do I get this feeling you're scared of me? Scared of you? For what? Look, I, 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 I was to call someone else. I, 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 a mistake, sorry, it was a mistake, sorry. Look, if you're not scared of me, why don't you pull over so we go have dinner or something? We can spend some quality time together. Fine. Drinking without me? That's on Jensen Manley. Whoa! You look so gorgeous. You look good yourself. Thank you. Are we going to stand here and stare at each other? Or we do something fun? <laughs> Pardon me. Um, please, sit down.
laughing? You, why are you laughing? I, you know, this night is kind of funny and strange. I'd come out to make tonight pure hell for you, but you ended up making me have so much fun. But you don't know me too well. I agree. Because you've managed to get out a lunch and dinner date from me. <laughs> it's kind of strange. What if I say I know you more than you think? Baby girl has got to go in and rest. I've got work tomorrow. I know. Like I said, you can trust me with your car. I'll bring it back tomorrow. Thank you. Yo, can I buy you lunch? You seem like a nice person, someone I can be friends with. But we must do things my way, my way alone. Deal? Good night. Nancy. 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 Oh, sorry. I called you like four times before you turned. What's up? I'm fine. I just, I just drifted. What's up? Okay, um, you need to do me a meal now. The director of programming wants it for your next show. I'll sign it before the close of work. All right, okay, sure. Hey, are you okay? You yeah, sure? Okay. Sorry, I was going to ask you. Okay. Yeah, do you... Do you by chance have an idea of what Dennis's son name is? Dennis, Dennis, Dennis. Who is Dennis? The guy who met at the restaurant. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. Um, no, 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 not at all. We got talking, but I forgot to ask him. What do you want to use the son name for? Um, um, like doing the research um, on guys I consider rude and obnoxious. Oh. I'd like to have some background. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, I forgot to ask him. I'm sorry. Uh, it's fine. I would have called him, but I don't want him to know I'm using him. I know, right? Yeah. So what are you going to do? Yeah, it's fine. I will use other guys. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah sure. Why not? All right, then. Okay, so just do the meal, okay? Yeah, sure. All right. Well, yeah. you... Never mind. Okay, then. Yeah, yeah sure. a wall deep down inside to hide the pain I feel within but these walls come crashing down down and I'm afraid I'll lose my mind I need some
Ah! Davis, why did you make love to me? You should have just had sex with me so I can control your body and mind. The way I'm used to. Why did you make love to me? And he hasn't even called me since the day we had mad, mad love. He hasn't called me. He hasn't even given me no missed call. Nancy, why? Nancy, you messed up. Gosh, you're Nancy. You should be the one doing the forming and ignoring. No one should give you cold shoulder or silent treatment. I'm afraid I'll lose my mind. So tough, but I'm screaming deep inside And I'm afraid I'll lose my mind I need some love today Someone to call my own Cause my walls are broken down And I can't breathe in Hello. I found her. I'm afraid I'll lose my mind. I act so tough, but I'm screaming deep inside. And I'm afraid I'll lose my mind. Fleshy love was not created for us women. Why? Because whenever we give our hearts to men, they use and dump us at will and the society supports them. Where is she? President of Lassie's Angels. Men cause us nothing but pain. The society we live in today call men who treat women badly, bados, and the women idiots. Thank God for Nancy and her show. Now we are women who has locked up our hearts to men. If you want any man, you can get him, pay him, have sex with him, and kick him out. Everything has to be on our own terms, for we must never fall in love. Never, never fall, fall in love. love. Never, never fall in love. love. Never fall in love. Gosh. What does this Diane? What does she want? I'm freaking tired of this girl. waiting for over two hours. I really don't know what I've done to deserve this kind of treatment from you. I didn't ask you to come and look for me, George. Can you pack your things? Let's go back to the house. You want to order me around? You want to tell me what to do and you claim you love me? <laughs> Diane, pack your things and let's go home and talk. What's responsible for this Recent behavior of yours anyways. Nancy told me not to trust you and she was right. You don't love me. Who the hell is Nancy? You don't know our neighbor who lives in the opposite building that presents the best relationship show on planet Earth for ladies never fall in love? <laughs> <laughs> so, she asked you to leave me? Yes, she did. And she's right, you don't love me, clearly. So this Nancy woman, does she have a boyfriend or a husband or, or, or someone? Well, I, I haven't exactly seen her with a man. But she doesn't need a man. Yes, she doesn't, because she has trained herself to be without a man. And that is why she's a queen. So, someone who doesn't have a husband or a boyfriend asks you to leave me and then you just go up and leave? Diane? I... 
you've caused me a lot of pains. So much pain that I've spent the past few months of my life hating you with every fiber in me. What are you talking about? What is, what is this about? What is this about? You destroyed my relationship. A relationship I gave my all to nurture and watch grow. Debbie was all I loved. She was the love of my life. She was everything I wanted in a woman. Everything was all well and good until she started listening to your sick show. Now she, you've damaged her. She has left me. Debbie is gone because of you. So I damaged her. And she left you because she listened to my show. How about I made her a stronger woman capable of taking care of herself? You're ruining the lives of young people in our society with your sick show, Nancy. When you teach young women not to fall in love, you're leaving them and their heart open to emptiness. How about I'm protecting them from being hurt by men that opened their hearts to? Men who didn't hesitate to rip their hearts out of their sockets and burn them right before their eyes! I am protecting these women! Really? Yes! How about you come with me so I show you what this your protection has caused in the lives of these young women? Like I said earlier, we must lock up our hearts. We must learn to turn our hearts to stone. All men must not penetrate. We are Nancy's angels, and all men are made object to us. They must bow before us. Why? Because we gave them life, and we own them. And with that being said, we must never fall in love. 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 You've turned those young ladies and countless other women into monstresses. Imagine those women bringing children into this world and spreading the same message to their girl children. Women and men would leave as staunch enemies. And you're spreading all of this just because someone hurt you in the past? He slept with my sixteen-year-old sister in my house on my couch. He was having an affair with my sister. Whilst they planning to get married today. I gave Kali everything. My body, my soul, because... Because I felt he was the right man for me. understand the, the level of hurt I have experienced. I don't talk to my sister and my mother since that day. I haven't spoken with them. Everyone connected to them. I haven't spoken with them because of Kali. I understand your pain. I felt the exact same way when Debbie left me out of the blues. And when I discovered it was because of you, because of your show, I wanted to meet you so badly. I wanted to come into your life and your heart and break it into pieces. And now realizing that you two have a big amount of pain in your heart, I am perplexed. You shouldn't have succeeded. 
because there's no hearts in this body. Kali makes sure you destroyed everything. I'm heartless. I'm heartless. No, my dear. You're totally wrong. You have a heart and it beats properly. I mean, no heartless woman would have kissed me the way you did while we made love. I still haven't forgotten how you looked into my eyes while we made out. Or is it the way you beat my lips while you kissed me so passionately? Or how you held me so close to yourself and moved with the rhythm of my heart? No heartless woman would be capable of all these emotions. So you have a heart, my dear. You do have a heart. And it's still capable of loving. George, your neighbor? You are the presenter of the talk show, Never Fall In Love. Ah, great show. <laughs> I, I, I just came to tell you a big thank you, a big thank you for breaking the loving relationship I have with one of my dreams. Diane? Found out where Debbie lives, and I've come to take you there. Uh, <clears throat> Nina, there will be no need for that. Why? Nina, I've spent the past few months trying to to date this radio presenter so I can break her heart and shred it into pieces, such that after I achieve my goals, Debbie will come running to me after realizing how demonic this radio presenter is. After, 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 after I kissed and made love to this presenter, everything changed. <sighs> Nina? Nina? My heart beats for Nancy. I'm so sure I'm in love with her. Are we talking about the presenter of Never Fall In Love? Yes. You knew? Well, we saw your write-ups about her pasted all over your office just before you stopped working. Well, I'm in love with that woman now. She's the love of my life. Unfortunately, she doesn't feel the same way about me. I'm just going to die without being with the one God finally blessed me with. Where's my phone? I think it's time for her show. Give me my phone. Where is it? Hello, Nazi Angels. Welcome to, to the show today. Unfortunately, today is going to be the last time I'm going to be on the show. I've had the show running for, for several years now. Never fall in love.
But I have a confession to make. So I got hurt by a man I I loved several years ago. I caught him having sex with my 15-year-old sister in my house. That broke me into pieces. I was terribly hurt. I hated everything men and love that bit of this show. Never fall in love. So I had pushed by pains on everyone who had listened to my show from when it started to now. I just wanted women to, to be like me. To be broken and incapable of loving. I thought I was incapable of loving a man, and I thought I didn't have a heart. But I just realized that I lied to myself. I'm capable of loving a man. Being happy. Tiana say angels. So this time I tell you all the truth. Love is a beautiful thing. Love is pure and will always be readily available to us all. Yes, we may get involved with some wicked individuals who would, who would break us, but we must never stop giving our hearts the chance to fall in love. So Nancy has fallen in love. And she can't continue preaching, <laughs> preaching against love. I am sorry, very, very sorry. I'm extremely sorry for misleading every of my listeners. And I just want you all to find a place in your heart to forgive me. <laughs> And most importantly, please just go out and find love. It is there waiting for you. It will find you. Just as it found me. Thank you. And goodbye. i
I'm afraid I'll lose my mind 